Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful tools in physics, dimensions and dimensional analysis. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the concept, but also learn how to apply it to real problems and check if physics equations actually make sense. Let's jump right in. In physics, every physical quantity, whether it's force, energy, work, or momentum, can be broken down into just three fundamental building blocks. These are called the base dimensions, and they are length with symbol L. Think of it as distance. The separation between two points, A and B. The SI unit for length is the meter with symbol M. Mass with symbol M refers to the total amount of substance in an object. The SI unit for mass is the kilogram with symbol KG. Time with symbol T refers to the interval between two events. The SI unit for time is the second with symbol S. It is very important to not confuse the symbol for these fundamental dimensions, L, M, and T, to their SI unit symbols, M, KG, and S, respectively. Every physical quantity in the universe can be expressed using some combination of these three. When we talk about the dimension of a quantity, we're really asking, what is its physical nature? Dimensional analysis is the process of expressing any physical quantity in terms of these base dimensions. We represent the dimension of a quantity by writing it inside square brackets. For example, if we take distance, written as x, then its dimension is x placed inside a square bracket, and this is equal to L, because distance is purely a measure of length. So one may ask, why do we bother with this? There are three main reasons why this is very important to physicists and scientists at large. Let's dive into them. 1. To check the validity of equations. 2. To find relationships between quantities in derived formulas. And 3. To determine base units for unfamiliar physical quantities. Now, here are some golden rules you must always remember. 1. You can only add or subtract quantities with the same dimension. For example, the operation 3L minus 2L equals L is allowed because both terms on the left-hand side are in dimensions of length, and so must be the resulting term on the right-hand side of the equal sign. But the operation 4L minus 2T is not allowed because both terms are in different dimensions. That's like subtracting apples from oranges. It is not possible. 2. The left-hand side and right-hand side of an equation must be dimensionally consistent. For instance, if you're calculating acceleration, which is the change in velocity divided by the change in time, both sides of this equation must have the dimension of acceleration. 3. Constants without units are dimensionless. Numbers like 2, one-half, or pi, do not carry dimensions, so they are treated as dimensionless. But you need to be careful here. Not all constants are dimensionless. Some constants like Planck's constant, Newton's gravitational constant, the Coulomb's constant, etc., all have dimensions, and so must be treated as such. Great! Now, let's practice what we have learned so far. Derive the dimensions of the following physical quantities. 1. Distance. 2. Mass. 3. Time. 4. Speed. And 5. Acceleration. Comment your solution to these down below in the comment section, and I will leave a document to the solutions in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.